So if you are a marketer, then you probably need to create lead magnets from time to time. And since AI is such a good tool, today I'm showing you four different tools that can be used to create lead magnets. I'm using the brand new GPT-5 from OpenAI. I'm using Claude Sonnet 4 from Anthropic, which is my go-to tool usually. And I'm also using GenSpark.ai which is a tool that's more like an AI agent and not just a search engine or a chatbot. And then I'm also using lovable.dev, which is the biggest and most popular vibe coding tool out there right now. So let's get into it. So I have already gone through the process so I can quickly show you what the results look like. Basically, I asked ChatGPT, GPT-5, the new model, to help me figure out 10 specific lead magnet ideas that are specific to my target group and also the problems I'm helping them solve. And it came up with 10 different lead magnet ideas based on this. And you can see them here, one hour a week, a content calendar, 50 plug and play prompts for marketers and more stuff like that. And I also asked the same thing from Claude Sonnet 4 and it gave 10 other ideas based on the same thing. And here I picked just one idea and this was content repurposing matrix, turn one idea into 25 content pieces. And then it continued in GPT-5 because it's such a new model and there's a lot of hype around it. And I put this idea here and then I asked it to list the top five benefits uh, of this lead magnet idea, why someone would even download it and how I could make it unique compared to the other common options uh, for similar lead magnets out there. So it showed me some top benefits, uh, Actually, this content was really good. Uh, I'm pretty happy with this, but I would say Claude Sonne 4 is equally as good, at least in my opinion. And uh, based on these ideas, it went through how to make it unique as well. I asked it to create a detailed outline for this lead magnet to keep it actionable, concise, and with tangible steps. So then GPT-5 came up with all of the steps, so what could be included in this lead magnet. Of course, if I'm doing it for real, I would do lots of edits. I would ask you to make it more concise. I think there's a bit too much going on, but let's go with this uh, prompt here. And then based on this, I asked you to give me a prompt for Lovable. So Lovable is the vibe coding tool that turns any prompt into a web page, a dashboard, so any type of code project without actually doing the coding part. And then I took this prompt and I used this prompt because it's asking for a PDF lead magnet based on all of the research and the steps we went through with, with GPT-5 here. And I'm going to show you now all of the results. So let's go to Lovable first. This is what it came up with. So this is a site that I can actually publish. It has the temporary Lovable URL that I could use. And it looks like this. So it's really nice looking. It has really clear communication, nice design, lots of different visual elements. And I'm just super impressed by the result. And for example, here you can see platform optimization cheat sheet. What are the best practices for LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, email, quick reference formulas for content lengths, then 25 repurposing examples. Lots of cool ideas here. Two hour speed challenge, some checklists, speed optimization tips, templates and resources. So it's just impressive how good it looks, how much information it has just based on this one simple prompt. And I can just publish it as is, although I don't recommend it. So definitely the next steps here would be to prompt it more, figure out why somebody would use it, how I would make it available. Should I publish it here? Should I download it, make it into a PDF or do something else? So I think Lovable is such a great tool and I'm most excited to go and keep building within this tool. But let's check out the other options. So the other interesting tool is Gen spark.ai and I gave it the same prompt and it came up with this PDF type of thing. It's more like slides and here, as well, it looks pretty good. There's a quick start guide, some check marks, the content repurposing matrix, lots of uh, AI prompt examples, step-by-step -step repurposing flow. So you can see the design elements are pretty good, the LinkedIn best practices. And what's good about GenSpark AI, it goes on specific websites, scrapes the data. So I could just say, go to my website, bring the best practices out of there and summarize something, use them in this lead magnet, and it will do that. While some other AI models will have some trouble scraping your website or they hallucinate a lot. So that's why GenSpark AI as an AI agent type of tool has been really valuable for me, for example. 
But what I don't like here, even though the content is really good, if I go and download it as a PDF, and you can see it here, the design kind of breaks, as you can see here. So then all of this nice design gets cut off. So I also have an option to download it as an HTML, but then I have to think about how to host it, how to make it available. It's a bit too complicated, especially when I compare it to lovable.dev, where I can just easily publish it and I already have a temporary domain by lovable that I can use. And this is a topic for another video, but I can also connect it with Superbase, which is a database provider. So I can make this site closed and people have to sign up with their email and then they can get the free access. And then with Superbase, I can store all of those emails that signed up and use them as my leads. And although this can be easily set up and I have another video where I'm building a content SaaS with lovable.dev over a week and check that out on my YouTube channel, I won't get into it much more. So basically with GenSpark, I love the content. I love the details that it adds here. I even like the design, but realistically now I have to go and start fixing the PDF. So let's go further and I'll show you what GPT-5, the new flagship model of uh, OpenAI came up with. So I asked it to also create the same PDF here. And what it came up with is this thing, which is a big disappointment. So this is the lead magnet. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, let's move on to Claude Sonnet 4 uh, here. I asked to come up with this PDF as well, and this is what it came up. It's not as dynamic as the Lovables version, but it's a solid design. It's really clear what it does. The information is really well structured on these pages, and I can easily start using this to make changes. And of course I can just prompt it. So I have the option to copy it, and I have an option to download it as HTML. So what I don't like here is that I can't download a PDF. So my option is to download it as HTML and then turn it into a PDF. Uh, I can also publish it here, but then it creates an uh, anthropic artifact. I don't know if I would use this as the lead magnet URL. Although it looks good, it's clean. I would probably prefer this as the lead magnet. I don't think I would use it. So what's the decision? Four different tools. What I would use to create lead magnets, hands down, it would be lovable.dev. Just because it's so exciting to go into the coding world, I can easily publish it and I can just share the link then with people who want to get this lead magnet. And I love the option that I could create the full SaaS just by prompting it. And, and the fact that the blank one prompt is already so good, makes me so excited for this. But I also want to quickly talk about pricing. Actually the pricing for all of the pro plans, Claude, ChatGPT, Lovable and GenSpark, they are all in the 20 to $25 range. So all of these tools basically do the same thing. But if you're using Lovable, you probably want to use another LLM as well. So use Claude or ChatGPT or some others to gather those ideas. And then you use Lovable to turn those ideas into the magnets. So think about what you want to use, what makes sense for you. But my biased opinion and my excitement is with lovable.dev just because I could do like calculators here, conversion optimization, interactive templates, uh, checklists and stuff like that. And I also think with a lot of lead magnets, unless it's something you want to print out, a website is way more exciting than a PDF. So I hope you liked this video and found some value in it and I'll see you next week. Bye.